Lovely uh, young violinist who is really superb. She is the youngest musician to win ever win America's Naumburg International Violin Competition in 1981. She's just completed the tour of the United States and Europe and will be at the Aspen Musical Festival this summer. Would you welcome, please, Nadja Salerno Sonnenberg. Join me in thanking my pianist. This is Janet Guggenheim.
You were telling me you were studying the trumpet. Yeah. Any particular reason? I've, I've always liked it. My grandfather used to play, and my brother played for a while. And I think it's a great instrument. And a friend of mine back uh, in New York, he's also a trumpet student. His name is Johnny, too, believe it or not. Yeah? Imagine that. Anyway, he, <laughs> he said he'd teach me for free. So I, I bought a trumpet, and uh, it's cool because I'm, you know, if you're relatively good at one instrument, yeah. and you're working out the fine details of really perfection playing, right. you know, and then, you, and then you're pitifully bad at the other. It's fun. It really is. Yeah. I just uh, take a break from practicing, you know. You feel you're pitifully bad on the trumpet right I, now? Well, <laughs> just call me Doc. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time, would you like to play with our band sometime? That's a dream. That would be a dream come true. Okay. I'll work on a song. Okay. And then we'll rehearse it, okay? When you're ready, bring in the trumpet and we'll go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you'll never top the violin, though. No, you started at five, right? Yeah. I read in that article. Mm -hmm. Your mother was uh, Italian. Yeah. Right, your father still was is. Still is. Still is. you putting stand-up comedy in the act, too. Huh? <laughs> and the young one started that way. You could do a little fiddly. A funny thing happened to me when the show. Boom. And she went out and bought you a violin. Yeah. And, and you loved it. No, I hated yeah, it. You hated, I hated it? it? I hated it. Until I was... I mean, I, when I got to the point where I could play and I would play in front of people and they'd clap, I thought, well, this is kind of neat, but I hated working, practicing. Until yeah. I was uh, about 19, I really made a decision to get dedicated already. Stop now, wasting time. Now, I know you're a baseball fan. You love baseball. And you were out playing ball, what, this past weekend or what? This, this Sunday. And you have a sore arm. Well, I'm going to get in trouble for this. I don't, now, I don't, isn't that a hazard? I mean, you've got a concert schedule and you... But this is what would yeah. happen to anybody who played... Uh, so, see, I can't play all the time because I'm busy. I'm not very often in town. And when we get together, it's a rare thing. And, you know, you're out there and you're, I'm very athletic, naturally. And you're out there and you, you're running around. Oh, I got it, I got it. And you're really giving it your all. And then the next day you get out of bed and, you know, you can hardly move. And so it's not a, a bad injury. It's a normal thing. My muscles get... Tired. But aren't you worried about catching a ball on the No, end? this I don't worry about. This, really, they never get hurt. They never do. This is just a regular, could happen to anybody, you know, muscle ache. And so, so there's a trail of Bengay from New York to Burbank. <laughs> <laughs> Smell it all the way from the trail. <laughs> yeah. you, said, you said that one of the things, you, maybe you don't miss it. You, you kind of, your social life probably is mainly musicians, I would guess, right? Uh-huh. Well, well, all my friends, just about all my friends are musicians. Well, you know, I went to school. I grew up with them. And uh, everybody that I associate with uh, are musicians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you miss uh, going out or seeing people who are not musicians? In other words, just other. I don't other really friends? know what it's like. Really? I, I really have never, you know, going out with uh, going out with the lawyers tonight. <laughs> I don't know what it's like at all. Yeah. See, <laughs> you're going. I'm going out with the lawyers too tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Probably in different different circumstances than you are, but uh, have you reached your peak yet? When do you reach? Uh, um, that, that sounds like another uh, naive question, but I. You mean, I mean as far as playing the violin? As far as technique. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever else you reach your peak in, Nadja. No, I, I, I meant it to, like a ball player or a tennis player. You know, can can peak at twenty five, twenty six, or something like that. I'm getting to the point now where there, there are so many things about playing the violin that's very intricate mm -hmm. that I, I'm starting to understand and it excites me. I, a violin is a great instrument. You can start it at five and you stop when you, when you die. You know, there's right. no, uh, you have to retire now. I, I mean, if you guess you get the arthritis or something. So it's a constant learning process, which is wonderful. Right. It really is. So I think, I just hope to keep peaking, you know. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're just marvelous. Where are you heading from here? You're going out to the Aspen, I know. This is the uh, last uh, concert. Uh, of my uh, season. I have one month off going back home, going to practice, oh, nice. play ball, <laughs> go fishing, and... Uh, practice the trumpet. Yeah, practice the trumpet, and then I'll be at uh, Aspen. When do you want to make your trumpet debut on this show? Do you want to set a schedule sometime down the road? Yeah, let's... Uh, what do you say, Fred? Want to <laughs> set up a schedule? <laughs> Ten minutes? <laughs> okay, it's up to you. Anytime okay, you want. Thanks. All right, thanks. we'll take a break. We'll be right back.